Well, when it comes to noise, downtown Bryan is a hot spot for trains sounding their alarms. That's right, but for the people who live there, they say something needs to be done when it comes to that noise. KX HD News reporter Ian Smith is live in downtown Bryan. From the sounds of it, things are quiet at the moment, Ian. You know, things are quiet at the moment, and they have been for most of the day. We've been out here, and no trains came by. But ironically, just a few minutes ago, a train came through here and thundered down these tracks right here. And I have to say, it was pretty loud. In fact, two sets of tracks intersect in downtown Bryan. And for the people who live here, say, a train comes through every hour or so and rumbles and blares its horn. One woman who lives beside the track says it's become a way of life. I wake up. When I hear it, of course I go back to sleep after it passes by, but it's bothersome to be being waken up like two or three times at night, and then sometimes you go back to sleep, sometimes you don't. Now, when it comes to trains, the city has been talking about establishing quiet zones for the area. Now, tonight at 10 o'clock, we will talk to the city about these quiet zones and see if a quieter future is in store for downtown Bryan. For now, we are live in Bryan. Ian Smith, KAGS, HD News. Thank you, Ian. If the city does establish quiet zones, they have to construct extra safety measures at every crossing to help reduce risks. Those risks include a lack of horns because the city would need to remove them from the, the railroad crossings, but that project could cost the city millions. It's obviously something important and something to think about. Yep.